that's tick on oh, no. hmm? that this is a dynamo off our Cortina but yeah. we had a slight issue with our one company on it so we're going to take this one to pieces and um, hopefully this will be able to fix the issue That's a keyway. Alright. Oh, yeah. You have them on lots of things to stop it spinning. See, that fits in that slot there, look. Keyway sits in there, like that. If I can get it to sit in. That sits in there, and then the round edge sits in that hole. Fins on it to cool, help cool. The dynamo, keep the dynamo cool. And what we're going to do now is we're going to spray a little bit of WD-40 down those two holes because they're the ends of the screws that we're going to undo. That hold the dynamo together. There's only two two screws hold the whole thing together. get that one off first because we don't want that that's a capacitor for a radio for, for stopping them vibrating it sort of takes out the crackle so if, that, if these go to plan they normally come undone quite easily now how long has that been since that came to pieces well, this was off at an escort engine, wasn't it? Which had been. So, what I'm going to do here, look, I'm marking which side that goes because you can put them back together either way because obviously they're left or right hand on the engine. So, what we need to be net careful of now is that we don't lift the front plate off, we only want to take the back plate off. So, we just give it a, a tap. Yeah. Now, when we lift that off, yeah, those are the, and actually they're a good set. That is a good dynamo. We had to in the shed for a little while, so. And then if you, if you look in here, what you can do, if we take, let's take this nut on. We can take the whole thing to pieces. He's coming. It's just moving. You probably want to put a screwdriver in the bottom. Right. Yeah, so that's your commutator, that's your coils, your windings as they call them. That's full of copper wire in there. All wound and wound and wound. And then this is the commutator that runs on a bearing at the front, mm -hmm. which is a proper bearing in the front of them. But in the back it's just a rubber it's just a bronze bush. So what you can do with these now to clip you clean them, what you need, is you get something like an old hacksaw blade because you want to define these grooves. Clean that off with some emery paper. Forty on it to lubricate it as always. Now you can see these are copper segments. And they're wired alternately. 
and that's how you get the change in the polarity to make the electricity to make the charge so what you've got is a positive negative positive negative all the way round and you can see if they're what how they're wired into the Edges off if you want to, because it can make it awkward to get the um, the back back on because you've got to get it over that lip. So once we clean this up, what we'll do is we'll around it with a file very lightly. And just take that back. start and then because then that could act as like a binder coat and then you can put I've got a worn bit in the middle you see uh -huh. so what we do now is we just do this look and what that does, that splits the, gets all the muck out of the, between the, the segments. Mm -hmm. Because obviously if you get those spot marks we put in, mm -hmm. go against the non-threaded. We really need to get our sand bath to go. Yeah. To get these out, because obviously you can't put that back, you can't put screwdrivers in right here. So you push that out, get the spring, push it out further, and then hook, clip the spring on it. And then what you can do is you can push, just push them in with the screwdriver. Once it's together, and then you can um, see. Oh yeah. They hold the uh, things apart. Yeah. So then, when you put that back on, you just push a screwdriver in there, push, push them in, and flick the back, the hook, back hook the springs back out. Mm -hmm. So you can't put them together wrong. So you got yeah. a slot mm -hmm. and a pin. Yeah. So what I want to just do is just want to just, just put a little bit of oil in. Bearing's okay. Where's the oil? Okay. Got a tiny little bit of oil in this side, the bearing. You can see that's the oil's gone in there now. Yeah. See it shining? And then before we put that back on, we'll put a little bit in in the front side as well because you can actually change these bearings mm -hmm. well that if, if it if it had gone more in there and spin it around it will go there's only like a single ball bearing in there right so now what we're going to do is line up that drop that through that peg lines up there yeah mm -hmm. Oh, that's slotted in nicely. I turned it over. Who makes them? 
Lucas. Not George Lucas. We'll take off our mask and take off our wire, which is the um, main 12 volt, or the main wire, and then the small wire that's on the back that only goes. Oh, sorry, that's the field winding. That's the one that puts the light on and off in the car. Yeah. And this is the one where the power it comes, out. comes down. So we want to put a little bit of copper slip or something in here. Actually, I think we'll just put a bit of a wheel in it. It's just a copper bearing. Mm -hmm. So now we slide this on. Obviously, it can't go on in the wrong place, actually, because it can only go on where the wire can go. Like that. It slots on nicely. Spinner. Now, what we do, if you can see this, let's put the screws in. You've got to be careful doing these up that you don't twist it because it won't spin, obviously, otherwise. Ah, lovely. See? Spot yeah. on. Well balanced. Put a little bit more oil in there. And spinner. You see that oil's going down, see an air bubble coming in it, yeah? yeah. That's good. Right, now, what we've got to do is the technical part is to get these, if I get a light, probably that one's the better one. You see, the, you can see the, the end of the, yeah, let me get my screwdriver. That's the end of the brush. Yeah. And there's our spring. Right there. See the spring there? Yeah, it's all. Yeah, so all we do is we flick that up. And it goes and in. And now that's holding the spring. And now you can see that's the end of the copper, the the, the carbon brush right. there. Mm -hmm. Just there next to the screw. Because you can see this side, it's not there, look. If I do the same thing again now with this side, I push that through. See? Mm hmm. Now that one's held in. Same. So that dynamo is now all back together, ready to go.